An interesting thing that I've noticed about my psychedelic experiences is it seems that as soon as I set a date for a big one, it's as though a bunch of stuff starts coming up. It's almost like all the things that I'm going to need to process um, before the uh, before my experience starts to surface and becomes very clear. I often get super uncomfortable and a lot of sort of, um, I say, re repressed emotional content or psychological emotional distress or malaise tends to emerge just before these ceremonies. And I think there's a couple different ways to look at it. Um, one way that I look at it is like, well, this is my mind familiar with the process, knowing that something's going to happen. And since I have set consciously an intention to journey into the psychedelic or psilocybin space in order to learn more about myself and resolve aspects of myself uh, or aspects of my experiences that are currently maladaptive or dysfunctional or harming me, that it's like my subconscious now with that plot starts to influence what's coming up to make it very clear to me as to how to approach what intentions to set and what type of um, container would be best for my experience. Another way of looking at it, actually, and this is one that I've been thinking about, is with the idea of retro causality, that events in the future seem to influence events in the present. This has some, you know, scientific basis that I can't really quote for you right now, so you could take this next section as just Facebook science or hearsay or conjecture, but uh, I'll see if I can put links to some retro causality stuff in the description below. But if events in the future influence the present, then I sometimes wonder whether or not the mode of the direction of causality to why this emotional content is surfacing is not because I set a primer uh, and that it's emerging now in preparation for an upcoming experience, but that the, that, that content is what's what came up in the experience in the future and it's echoing backwards or at least perceivably from my vantage point backwards through time and the what i'm experiencing is the ripples of that event kind of terence mckenna style though i don't want to go too much into how much i believe about novelty theory but if retro causality is the case perhaps that's what's happening perhaps that it's coming it's it's echoing back from the future and if that's the case then how far back does it go like is the very revelation that it's time to take my psilocybin dose um not an um not a revelation in the present moment based on past experience but an inevitable revelation of um, what needs to happen in order for the future that has already happened to come about. And so the very intentions that I set, all of this is influenced by the future event. And depending on how far in the future things might be, um, how far uh, into the future future events might be influencing the present moment, then perhaps the very revelatory uh, insights about what it means to be alive that i'm that i'm coming to in my dying process at some point hopefully far in the perceivably future that that is the content that is ripple, rippling backwards through time inspiring um, the way in which i unfold in my psycho-spiritual maturation but either way i do think it could be a combination of both, one of which seems much more rational than the other, um, but both of which seem kind of interesting. I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Do you think, or, or you know, do you even have this experience? If you do, comment in the description below. And if you think that I'm full of bullshit with that retro causality, comment in the description below. And if you think that it has some validity and you have some references and perspectives, get engaged in the comments below. Of course, you can subscribe to this channel and you can also uh, support me on Patreon because that's a thing that I do, patreon.com forward slash James W. Gesso. There are other ways that you can support and they are also listed in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it has provided you uh, some juicy insight to chew on for the next coming week. Videos release every Friday alternating between a full-length interview podcast and short-length videos such as this one. So thanks and take care.